Archer was diagnosed with tetrasomy 18P when he was nine months old. At birth, I had a C-section, uh, no complications, just had to come early due to a previous C-section and issues with a previous C-section. And uh, at birth, I had him tested for Downs syndrome because looking at him, I just felt like there was something different about him in his facial structure. And I think the doctors probably thought I was a little crazy um, getting him tested for Downs at birth. That of course came back negative. And so I tried to just push aside, you know, any weird thoughts and move on. But when he was, I mean, as he started developing, especially at around 12 weeks, talking with some other friends who had babies around similar ages, I just really noticed that Archer was not where he should be. So I took him to a girlfriend who's a pediatric physical therapist, and she performed the Heinz test on him, Hammersmith Infant Neurological Exam, and he scored very, very low. And so I asked her what she would do if it were her child, and she recommended I see a neurologist. So I first took him to his pediatrician. The pediatrician just said, oh, you know, all kids develop at different paces, and I don't think the neurologist will see him at this point. Thankfully, my insurance doesn't require a referral from a doctor, so I still went to the neurologist, and the neurologist agreed with me that there was something going on, but he could not pinpoint it, so he recommended I go to a geneticist. And so we went to a geneticist when he was about, I think we got into a geneticist around three to four months old. And he then said, let's do some blood work. And then it took about four months for that blood work to come back. So he was, we got the results when he was nine months old that he had tetrasomy 18P.